Moose two thousand six. Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Simulator 17. We, obviously, by the looks of things, have just finished mowing. And by we, I mean probably Worker Willie or Wilma. I'm sure I did not do it myself, and I'm sure because I actually remember not doing it myself. So, uh, we thank them for their time mowing our, our lawn. So now we can get the old, let's see, what are we going for? Hay? Which means we can ted it first. Yeah, we need to fill our barn back up with hay because we are out and we need it for sheep and cows. I think we can ted in the in uh, precipitation. We cannot harvest, but I think that's the only thing we cannot do. Before we do this, we should probably get someone sewing. We, did, we went through all that work getting this set up, and then did not actually set anyone to sew. Um, so, let's get this hooked up here and get our soybeans going. We might as well use this smaller tractor. We can use our big bud for ourselves so that we can just, if we need to take crops into sell or whatever, we'll have a big old tractor to do so. These are full. Uh, last time we had that exciting experience where we figured out, well, I finally figured out, that you can just uh, fill up auger wagons with pallets by hitting Y next to the pallet and not having to actually, um, oh, let's just close this first before I forget. There we go. Not actually uh, have to use a pallet fork or anything. We are go- oh, we need to clean that up too, but we'll actually be using that in a little bit for our hay. We'll use this large field first, no real reason, except that I just don't want to deal with uh, Worker Willy for a while. Oh. Um, I feel like precipitation makes makes things a little slicker based on the physics that I'm experiencing at the moment. Not 100% confirmed, but I'm sure that's how it works. Okay, let's go ahead and... Well, nope, stop. Change soy soybeans first. Oh, that's canola. There we go. I think that should do it. We got fertilizing, we got soybeans, and now... Oh yeah, we did a little bit of this too. Eh, we won't worry about that yet. Let's let's focus on hay. We really need to focus on hay today. Plus, it's it's kind of a fun job because I don't know, it just looks nice. So if we go over this, we got some hay now. Even in the rain, it'll it'll dry out. I guess. I'm not complaining. One complaint, you know, I I haven't made in a while that I just sort of was reminded of. Uh, just about three minutes ago when I was loading in the game is that the loading time to load into a game is still very slow. Um, and that's all I really have to say about it. I don't know enough about game design or program. I mean, obviously I don't know anything, so maybe that it just has to be that way, but I feel like with this computer it should load a lot faster than it does. Um, but it doesn't, so I don't know. That's really all I have. I just, it's, it's kind of, it is what it is. I just wish it was faster. Okay, moving on. What else is new? Uh, I tried to start a new series this week. It uh, failed because I didn't do my research or my homework and that was all my fault. So, um, Rebel Galaxy seems really fun. Had a really good time with it, but man, without that soundtrack, it's doesn't have the same appeal. Uh, I haven't even actually played it again in my own time, because um, I was just like, kind of, I was like, ah, oh, you know, but whatever. Uh, so if you uh, saw that episode pop up and then go down, that's why it's just music, music copyright stuff. So uh, I decided not to even mess with it and just, just take it down. I'm not going to continue it. So still looking for a new series. Someone suggested, uh, why can't I, I almost said Harvest Moon, Stardew Valley. Uh, the reason I haven't done that yet is because I played 97 hours of it when it first came out last year, uh, within like a two-week time span. I mean, it was 
intense. It was all free time I had went to that game, which, I mean, it's it's an amazing experience. Basically, I got to the I got to the end of year four, and just sort of didn't have much else to do. You know, I was married, kind of had all the money, everything. I was trying to do achievements, but I couldn't get that void egg. Like, never dropped. So I just finally kind of burned out. But it's been over a year now. I might consider loading that back up. I know there's been some updates. Now you can kind of choose your initial map. And I don't know, there's probably other things I'm not even aware of. But it might be time to get into that again. Because holy cow, that game is incredible. Incredible. If you, if you like the Harvest Moons of old, like uh, Back to Nature for the PS1... Uh, if you like uh, Harvest Moon 64, any of those types, kind of the older ones, um, it's it's very much a better throwback to those. I would say they're, it's better than those, probably because it's 15 years later. Um, and man, that guy, Concerned Ape, just did a phenomenal, phenomenal job catching the, the spirit of those games while definitely making it his own. There's kind of the... It's like very real-world problems. Like, you got like an alcoholic mother in there and you have like the big big box store trying to take over um, which of course in my playthrough I decided with the town I think if I did a playthrough on this channel we would be like the bad guys and go with the big box store because I actually don't know what happens if you do that gosh now I'm getting really excited uh, that might happen I don't know though I may see another series that I want to start but I definitely need to do something a, a secondary one we'll see see how is worker willy doing we can always check not even halfway because that field's huge now my favorite job of all windrowing it is absolutely the best so now we can lower it I think I will put on some music it will be royalty free I assure you and uh, we'll get this windrowing done. finishing up our last little uh, row here and the weather has cleared up thank goodness because it was starting to get a little bleak starting to affect my mood negatively if I got it you know to tell you the truth uh, not really though it is just a game after all right not only is it just a game but if we think about it it's just a farming simulator isn't that weird to think about sometimes like this is really it's really no reason to get too uh, worked up about this about this year program um, even though I do I know I know I do I did just complain about loading times a little bit ago but it is it's just farming sim it's so fun uh, I, that really probably seems like it came out of nowhere and it kind of did um, do we need any stoles nope no stoles what are we acquire <laughs> okay um, let's get our loader our loading wagon so we can pick this hay here up I just don't quite know where it is. It's not over there. It might be in our barn. Nope, that's Tipper. I wonder if it's still at the... Do we still have them both here? Oh, I lost this one. That's there. Oh, this is still over... Oh, boy. Okay. Um... All right, let's go first person. It's a pretty rare occurrence. Let's see what Worker Willie's doing. Oh, he's done. Well, let's go work on. Let's go do that first. Oh, you know what? We don't need to spend money 
sewing that last little tiny strip. It's only like half the field long anyway for some reason. So let's go start on field 14. We're just doing a full planting of soybeans. Full planting. Oh boy. I made zucchini bread today. Um, first time I've ever made made it. I was always super confused about it because zucchini is like a. Uh... Well, let me be let me be more specific. I made double chocolate zucchini bread um, because I absolutely love chocolate. So if there's any recipe I can put chocolate in, of course I'm going to. So uh, this has cocoa and chocolate chips and a bit of uh, coffee in there. So. Looking forward to it. Still cooling down. I'll probably have some with some coffee while I rewatch Twin Peaks from this week. Anyway, uh, I was always confused about zucchini bread because to me zucchini was a vegetable, uh, and you put it in bread, and it's delicious. Same with like carrot cake. It's like well, carrots are a vegetable, but you put them in a cake and they're delicious. Well, I think I cracked it when I was making it. It seems like the zucchini provides... Oh my gosh, we have all this grass and I don't know what to do with it. How much is a bigger loading wagon? Maybe we'll just buy a new one. We already have two, it's ridiculous, but... Loading, loading. Yeah, we could buy this here, big one. 60... Nah, we don't need to though. Oh boy. What about our one down here? Is this full? What's this, a Coke machine? So, oh, it's a photo booth, okay. Um, let's see if this has some hay or grass in it. If not, we can come down and steal it. Jump and peek in. Oh yeah, it's empty, okay. All right, well, shucks. Um, we'll leave that and I will just cut forward. Uh, I'm going to go get the loading wagon and we'll take it back to the farm and I'll see you there. So anyway, I think the zucchini adds like a little bit of sweetness. I was really stupid because even though I just made zucchini bread and had all the zucchini, I didn't actually try the zucchini and I've never tried zucchini. I just kind of got distracted with trying to make zucchini bread and didn't try the zucchini. It was really dumb. So I don't actually still know what zucchini tastes like. I, it's really, if, if you ever cook or bake, taste your ingredients. Like, I think that's like cooking or baking 101, right? Like, know what your ingredients taste like, and I usually do. Totally just forgot, but anyway. Um, and then I think mostly it just adds moisture. Like, I did not realize how wet and soppy, like, grating zucchini was, but ugh, it was just, like, really gross. But then it made the batter nice and light, and I'm really excited to try it. Uh, it could also just be disgusting, or my cat could be in there completely destroying it right now, even though I've put it uh, where I've thought he wouldn't be able to reach it, but then the other day he actually reached something that was, a, it was a mess, but anyway. Um, he also had a little bit of tuna for lunch, because I had tuna, so we got a bit of that, and uh, I think he's he's, a, he's being a pretty good cat this afternoon for that reason, so. Anyway, this is filling up pretty quickly, which is good. It means we'll probably get about 45, 50,000 um, liters of hay. That was, that's another interesting thing, to, speaking of liters, is I've started weighing my ingredients. And like when I have the option to have a recipe, oh yeah, over here, in like metric units, like grams, versus how we usually do stuff here, which is like cups, like two cups of flour instead of, you know, 200 grams of flour, or whatever the equivalent is. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's very cathartic to weigh your ingredients like it's really nice instead of measuring out like this like a cup of flour to just put a bowl on a scale and weigh it like it's really it's been really nice and I feel like it's probably a bit more precise than uh, the, the old cup tablespoon method of, of things but I don't know I just really enjoyed that it's also novel because for the last 29 years of my life I've done measuring cups so uh, the zucchini bread was, was uh, I, I did that in the old metric system. 
which I wish America would just adopt. Uh, I think we tried at one point. I don't really know enough about that to speak on it, if that's even true that we ever tried it. But I, I feel like now that, like I know my entire generation has learned the metric system in school. I f and I, I think the past generation has as well. Like it's been in the schools for decades. I think it could be successful. It's probably super expensive because you have to change everything, like road signs and labels and all that, but it's like, can we just do it? I mean, literally everyone else does, and it makes sense, and ours doesn't. Like, it's really stupid. But anyway, then we'd have time in school to learn more things than, you know, an entirely different system of measurement, because we could just teach them the one. That makes sense. Anyway. Um, gosh, just full of, full of thoughts today. This is very unusual for me. Uh, I, well, I guess, you know, it, I, I've had the week with my thoughts because I finished grad school last week. So I've just been chilling at home, taking care of little odds and ends and baking and collecting eggs from these chickens and stuff. So, yeah, maybe just a little bit of cabin fever. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't tend to... Well, first of all, I don't stay home that much. I like to go out and hang out with people. And I don't really get bored. I am fairly good at just keeping myself entertained uh, through various hobbies. I've also been watching a lot of... Oh, I watched the first three seasons of Silicon Valley and then realized that I needed to take a little break from it before I finished the, season, the fourth season. Um because I had just watched way too much of it in a little amount of time. But Man Alive, Silicon Valley, whew, solid writing. Super funny, linear series from HBO. I thought it was always, I always thought it was more like a workaholics type show, or it was more like an anthology of like these like kind of nerds at a startup in Silicon Valley. But no, it's like a nice linear story, which does it's HBO. Uh, so that was refreshing. So that, Twin Peaks, um, Hotel Hell, Gordon Ramsay, that's just, for some reason, I've just really gotten into that. It's kind of been... It's been a good week to just chill, so... Uh, now I'm just crossing my fingers that I passed comprehensive analysis. Uh, my grades are not up yet. I'm not too concerned, <laughs> but maybe I am a little bit, so we'll see. If I fail, I just do it again next year. I think. I don't know. I hope I don't find out. Alright, this will be the final... Thing? I was going to say thing. I did say thing. The final activity, the final chore, the final task of today's farming. Um, go ahead and uh, t jot me down any recommendations you would like to see a series of. If they, uh, if the, if you would also like to see Stardew Valley, let me know that so then I can kind of get a count. I mean, I'll probably do whatever I want anyway, but it's, it's nice to get feedback, right? So it's cool that I have a channel that uh, where I get feedback. That is nice to have, so might as well ask. Uh, if you have any favorite recipes that you enjoy, go ahead and throw those out. I'm always looking for things to to try bacon. Oh, I did clotches this week too. Did I talk about that on the last video? Probably. I'm Czech, so it was, it was probably time by 29 years of age to try clotches. Uh, they turned out delicious. I need to work on my uniformity a bit. They kind of looked too different from each other. Um, but man, they, they actually tasted really good, so I was very, very pleased with that. Uh, Felt like my grandmother, the late and great Bertha, would be proud-ish. Um, she just probably wouldn't tell me that. You know, you know the chicks. All right. Uh, there's a little bit of hay over there I'm going to go get. Uh, it'll be off camera because there's like literally maybe a thousand. I don't know why I said literally when I don't actually know the number, but there's like a thousand liters on the ground I'll pick up. Um, yeah, hope to see you back next time. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you're still enjoying the series. Where'd that hay go? Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Have yourselves a very nice day.